Before they get started, please stay in your seats. Do not get up to ask for the bathroom. Do not do patrols until we dismiss you. We're going to stay here together and all listen to this information. Do you understand? Can I have to go to this? So, just a reminder. No water. No. What I heard was we're not getting up to ask for water. Bathroom. I need to check in. I need to go to patrols. None of that needs to be done right now. We're staying in our seats. No one needs to raise a hand and ask. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What else am I doing? Neil? One other thing I want to cover before we move on. Uh, Clark High School District Police Department, we do not own this. We went straight to the well and pulled this off. Anybody, you have access to it. We're just presenting it. It's there. If your parents need it, just go there. You can find all the latest tips and all the roundabouts to, uh, to help you guys out. <coughs> Why is this so important? Protect you from danger, but also protect, protect your future. Never wants to get a job, go to college, or find a scholarship. It won't be looking at your digital footprint. You know what that means? Yes. And I would just say, I'm so sorry, society, have given you guys this device called cell phone. And everybody, you just got to have, got to breathe it. My kids the same way. But in order to have that and maintain that cell phone, their responsibility comes with that. I just want to know how to, what's the main responsibility it's when you deal with these cell phones? Go ahead, young man. Oh, uh, yeah, that's one. What you got? Yeah, we're getting there. What you got? There we go, we go. Absolutely. Yeah, you're great. So everybody, yes, sir. Don't answer numbers, you don't know. All right, all right. We're good, good. So everybody knows how often you tell your friends that when you see them doing inappropriate things. Huh? Why not? Yeah. Okay, I, I just wondered. I just asked that. So all this is so true. As you get up in age, your job, going to college, all these they look at it. everybody got Facebook, Snapchat. So many careers have been lost by the information that's posted on these uh, digital footprints. You got to always keep that in mind. At your young age, you need to start practicing that. You can start. It starts now. You went over something. The password. You never share that. You make sure it's secure. You know, all that, all that, that, that helps you protect yourself. But you can never say someone went into my phone, I didn't know how they got in there, blah, blah. The phone is your property, you own it, what's in there. What's on that phone, you own it. All right, I'll just have to Social media. <laughs> As you look at the picture here, why do you think the public size? You think he gave permission for someone to take that? <laughs> so if someone takes a picture of you and posts it, how would you feel? Okay. 
But it's anybody in the group in the class is my taking pictures, posting them, posting them without the other person's permission. Let's be honest with ourselves now. This is an opportunity that we're going to move forward. After today, hopefully, we won't be doing that anymore because we're going to get into just a little detail of what that can, how much trouble they can bring to you and your families. So just keep that in mind. I'm on that picture. All right. <laughs>
need to stop that. Because we're to the point now. We don't want to, didn't want to go to court, but it just seems like that's the only the way you guys are listening. And it shouldn't be that way. Cell phones are excellent tools. You can touch with mom, dad, you can socialize, but you have to take responsibility for what you when you hit that send button, what you pass to your friends, and the communication that you have amongst yourself back and forth. Uh, pictures. Weapons, uh, someone without a shirt, all that is child pornography. You cannot do that. Simple. Well, a lot of them are doing it. So, you know, I sit here and scan, and I'm sure some of you, you're, you're doing it with your phone. And, and, the, and the worst thing about it, and you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. And you send something out on the web that caused somebody uh, embarrassment or defamation of character. Who's going to have to pay? People are suing civilly left and right. Lawsuit. Poke their hand out. No, you guys want your mom and dad have to make family adjustments when you get the civil suit, when you get your lawsuit coming down. So when you use that phone, I ain't got no tech up there. It, it really it, is, and this is my area. You use that phone for the purpose that your parents give it to you. Not to make threats, not to uh, hold bad photos, passing photos around all this different crazies. Fifth graders going to middle school next year. You don't get the basics here. You get to middle school, somebody gonna drag you into something with that cell phone. And never think for a minute that just because you delete something out of your cell phone, uh, it's gone. Uh, Israel over there, they made a, uh, one of their signs, came up with a gadget that we use. Just drop that cell phone in there. It'll pull up all the information from the day you first purchased. I don't know how many of you. So that's never, even like Snapchat and things that we Snapchat. think Snapchat. You think Snapchat clear up and gone in 24 hours? Negative. All of them can be brought back up and uh, traced to your phones, and then there will be consequences. There's too much happening. And a lot of issues that happens in the schools in the morning or sometime amongst your friends, you guys know, and no one wants to report it to their teacher or administrator. Hey, I saw this. Something about to happen with Johnny and Sally, whatever the case may be. See, that's what we look for. That's, that's what we call yeah, leadership. That's the information we're seeking. So we can uh, squash all this before it takes place. Now, I can't emphasize it enough. If you are taking pictures, inappropriate pictures, you need to stop as of today. You need to stop it. Making the idle threats, cyberbullying. You need to stop it. I've been in this, but I hate to one more tell you, 34 years now. Warnings are there. Teachers, staff, everybody talking, don't do this, don't do that. And they invented the cell phone. Aaron gave you a cell phone. It's 10 times forward, it's gotten worse. I heard they said, she said, did you see this? Check this out. I took this picture. She didn't know it. He didn't know it. Look what I have. You can stop it. Any question? All right, Miss Adderfield. Let's do it. Some of the things we know. If things get bad, yeah, not the extra list. Just talk, talk to someone. Your parents, counselors, principals, your mentor, staff at the school, teachers. That's what we're here for. Police, because all I know is police security. Anybody, you just mention it to an adult. I can assure you, it will get to the right place.
this word, I don't snitch, is surely, it's believing, it's, 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 you know, it's going by the wayside. I'm not, I'm not going to snitch them. I'm not going to, no, 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 no. I'm not going to go ahead and trash that. But there's some responsibility comes with not telling. Just think about in Florida what just happened. All the people that knew. I'm a Michael, but it's law enforcement. Everybody knew. Nobody took a stink. Those 17, I can assure you, they will still be here. Somebody took a stink. I'm saying this, I keep saying you'll be here. Middle school is next year. You don't get them checked here in a few months. We have days, 60, whatever. It's going to be 10 times at the middle school. And we talk to the middle school. If they don't get it checked in those three, four years, by the time the high school is making cases. We have to make, have to slow it down. So you decide where you want to be in this whole circle of cell phones. You want to send the bad news, send the inappropriate pictures downrange, and can never return. You want to be the one that said, Mrs. So and so, this is what I, this is what's being passed around at our school here. You might want to look into it. Simple as that, and then go on my street. I'll shout you. And like you say, what you say is, you say it. Photo, once again, those pictures, pictures, inappropriate pictures. You turn your families upside down, blink on an eye. And like I said, you're being young, it just tears up your family, your family. A lot of families don't have the coverage, you know. Our lawyers cost money. At this age, before we get the foundation, to help the family, you know, move up in life. You don't need to be doing crazy things, getting sued, and they have to start all over, have to sell the house, the downsides, that type of thing. So. talk about it. You see it. You know it's wrong. Tell them, though. Tell your parents you get home. They'll get in touch with the staff. Even at high school, they'll get in touch. We saw more in the morning between 9 o'clock chasing down stuff that was posted Snapchat. Snapchat. I was up in a conference room. If they have a certain age, well, here's my evidence. Why? No, and then I would tell no, don't no, no answer me. Just answer the judge. But you violate every law pertaining to uh, cyber bullying, cyber threats. So that's where we are with this, these cell phones. And you keep in mind pictures and the inappropriate things and the threats that you put on there and send down range, as we say, take forever there. About as simple as it gets. Be aware of what you share. Any questions? Officer, I know I've been past my. <laughs> any questions? Come on. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, you must have a question for Officer Reed, somebody. Yeah. Because uh, you're not telling me that some of your friends haven't shared some information that was inappropriate. I don't want to know that information, but yes, ma'am. You don't want to make a comment about what happened Positive comments. Um, so it's about. Um, what you were talking about, like, you know, like, like weapons and stuff. Right. There's a kid on the internet. He was 
good lives and had them and and he wasn't careful and he ended up with something that 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 happens. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. At the, at the police department, I know you guys are still young. We we have accounts. It's 2018. We can uh, I can call out there and give me 25 names. In. Of course, we got a huge, huge service. And, I mean, God, big screen. We can pull up so many accounts, Snapchat, Facebook, and all. If we want to have a block, all we do is call Facebook, call Snap, and tell them we need to release this because we are seeking certain information, information pertaining to a certain crime. If there are any elements of crime, I mean, they're releasing and we get access to them. I mean, it's just like that. The problem is so serious, uh, very few uh, search warrants or court orders. Are Needed, just go call them up and uh, they help us out. It, it, it save a whole, it save some lives, save a whole lot of situations. So they said privacy. It's not You're doing the right thing. The one will get in that track, but if you get outside that that rim there, you be picked up real easy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's worse. People hide behind the keyboards and can say a lot of things that they would not say to the person in, in person. It works. They really get real, real nasty on us on the computer. They, they uh, like I said, they hide behind. Yes, ma'am. Well, if you got to live without it, yes, it all went there. You can live without it. Yeah, I highly recommend that. But I, like I said, I'm sorry, your generation, the society, the situation we put you in. And boys, you'll remember, I know when um, your teachers met with you about social media, what age do you have to be to have a social media account? Oh, yeah. 13. Yeah. 13. Is there anybody 13 here? Does anybody have a social media account? Good point. Good point. Yeah, you have to be 13 to get on those social media. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry.
Yeah. I mean, you can text your friends. But, uh, but as long as you, it's, it's appropriate, I mean, you can text. There's nothing wrong with having a good, decent, wholesome conversation. Conversation on those uh, phones. Wait. Yes, ma'am. Can I go through your phone? I'm sorry. Can the police go through your phone? Yes. Let me tell you, uh, if, if we feel that you have something on your computer, on your phone, that's inappropriate, child, in, in, inappropriate, we'll have to get a search of them. We'll come, come sketch your phone, and then, like I said, we got that uh, uh, atheist at the uh, police department. They drop it in there, you know, big screen, they just pull up all your information. And they just go through it. And uh, that's how a lot of them are getting caught. I think she yeah. might have even been saying if it was actually a police officer that they suspected of something. Absolutely. Yeah, even. What I'm telling you guys, if, if, hey, they come back week five times. They go through all, we did constantly searching out. And we know that. Let me tell you, we're going to search this down. We're going to search and make sure, yeah, you're doing the right thing. And that's the police officer who held to higher standards than we should be. But anytime any state gives you the power to stop my movement, arrest, I mean, you need to be held to a higher standard. And when we violate, violate that, they need to hit us tenfold. I'm the first to tell you. I can't be here teaching this. And uh, at the end of the day, four o'clock, I'm out there doing something else totally opposite. And, uh, that's happening, and we are getting them to clean it up. Oh, let's go get it. Yes, ma'am. Who's that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I mean, that, that's fine. The thing is, every, every case starts out with a good street. The question is, when we have one good site with just music? I mean, that's fine. If it stays that way, but the, the history is it never stays. We get off track, and they all get into something else in the hardcore, hard, hardcore music. That, that that's a whole different album there. Some of you slow that music down and you know listen to some of the lyrics. You guys should be because you shouldn't be uh, listening back. Yes. Sir. What if you were like a project and you have to like look at that tribe or something like that? Like, you should not be receiving any assignment that requires you to look up any weapons. And I, I no, no, no that, that's not happening. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, the question is, can you post something on your Facebook that pertains to your religion? Now, yeah, that's fine, but you have to post it in a way that you're not imposing on others. You, you set yourself up for a lot of negative response. It has to be done correctly. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can you go to jail? Yes, the question is, can you go to jail for posting? Yes, you can. Like I say, pictures, inappropriate pictures, threats, they call it cyber bullying. And uh, it's a case, like I said, you pull your phones, you don't, you don't take no time to work with it, and uh, society has made it so easy by giving you guys these cell phones. And uh, if it meets the element of a particular crime, yes, you will be charged. Yes. Oh, you don't have a You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you said you can't post pictures. Well, yeah, well, sure. I'm talking about inappropriate pictures of uh, young females with no shirts on, males, and not got inappropriate comments on that. Uh, you get the drift. Now, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? What about the picture of your picture shirt off here at the uh, beach? When 
then you have a picture with your shirt off in a different setting where mom and maybe in the room sleeping, you conversating with someone back and forth, making inappropriate comments, comments on the picture can also dictate uh, your mindset. Oh, we're there, we're there. <laughs> we are, so we, we're good. So just let's recap some things, guys and girls. Inappropriate pictures, the threatening comments. <laughs> Confidence about who, what you're going to do to someone today or tomorrow when you get back to school. We, we, we need to stop. We need to stop today. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, no. yeah, you got to uh, look at that how. You got to say who your cousin is. Yeah, but you can't make no. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can joke with it, joke with it. But you still shouldn't go too far back. Yeah, that's good. You need to maintain that practice. Yes, sir. My mom has like this rule, like, I'm on dancing, like, friends people. She says, like, you can only friends people you know, like, you just want to, like, walk with them. Absolutely. That, that's a great practice. My grandson does. I mean, he's on that thing, and the people from California, so they'd be trying to uh, get in there to make connection. And uh, trust me, the guys on the other end, the bad people on the other end, they know your age. You know, they try to engage in conversation, have you do things or come out and meet different places. I mean, do things that's out of the ordinary. And all the guys and ladies that's out there on that well, they'll say things to the smoothie. It's a mind game. And you're, quite not, you're not old enough to handle those mind games from the adults. So be careful of that. And always, that's that's. Let mom, let your parents know when somebody jumps online and tries to uh, conversate with you. Yeah. 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 Like, don't trust somebody that you Right, yeah. Like you said, you don't friend people that you, uh, you meet in the games. And like I said, if your parent put a limitation on that, I mean, that's good. And I'm thinking about this parental limitation. Why do you think your mom and dad put something? The limitation, the parental blocks on your, your game, your phone. Oh, do you not have that? I don't know. I don't Ask mom to get that back on the phone. <laughs> well, I'll say this for you all, this for you all for that. Now, your parents can get on the phone and limit that means you go to a website, you do something, you give them a, uh, a notice that uh, you're doing something that you're going someplace that you shouldn't be on your phone and on the internet. Yes. That's good. Make sure they stay there. So when I have to leave the program, I have to get the question that I'm there, and I'm not going to get the website. Yeah. And one thing about that parental control, your parents put them on there for a reason. Now, I'm sure some of you are smart enough, you go behind the firewall and go behind that, uh, that protection of it. Now, when you go behind that protection and you do something that's illegal, guess who they're coming to get? Your parents. So don't put your parents and your family in that predicament. If the protection is in place, you need to leave it there. Trust me, you need to leave it there. They keep people from getting your address, coming right by your houses, and uh, hoping that you may be out there in the yard. And uh, it's just so much happening. I'm not trying to scare you, it's just, just real. And even in small town as in Georgia, it happened. Yes. Let's you turn on your parental controls yourself. Turn them on? Yeah, like you turn them on yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be even smart. Yeah, good. Good idea. I hope that rubs off. He turns on his own parental protection. That's good. And, yes, sir. My parents, they have this thing called Life 360, and you can tell, like, where you are if you have your phone and like what you're saying on your text yeah absolutely that's good anybody here at life 360 
Yeah, that, that's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And then we. If you record something, will it go to you? Sorry? If you record something, will it go right to you? If you report something, would it go to you? Wait. Mm -hmm. No, no, no not, not me. No, no, not me. It's you know, it reported to the police department. You got the school district police department, you got the UGA police department, you got the sheriff department, you got the GBI, you got the GSP. It'll get reported based on the address. If it's a school district property uh, uh, address, it'll come to me. If it's out in the community, add in Clark County, it's, we get it. If it's near UJ campus, they'll get it. So they got a system that depends on the address of which department it is. Yes. Come on, why you why you test it? The minute you see it, just I mean no response, just shut it down and notify your parents. I mean, don't even try to say who's this. Because what they're doing take a few seconds. For the IP to pop up, they would they stall. Long as you talk with them, you know. I mean, seeing it, I don't know. You probably watch TV now. You got these electronic. Where uh, back in the day, you want people to go to the they go to the uh, telephone booth. An investigator want them to stay long enough. Keep them on the phone. Keep them on the phone. Three more seconds. Three more seconds. So they can pick up your location. Now, that still happens out here in the world. And a lot of the bad guys that do bad things to children. They, they're using those uh, old techniques. And they uh, every time uh, Apple come up with a way to present that, the bad guys create another way to get behind that. So we have to stay on it. Good, good, good. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's nothing. If she were reporting things that, I mean, and then it's going to help everyone in society, you should get a reward. But a lot of people report and don't want no, don't tell nobody I said this. I mean that's fine too. So and so and so and so just don't tell y'all need to look into it. We get a lot of that. And then there's a lot of them that they don't care who knows. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. So therefore I'm telling you. So whichever way you choose to appreciate I will get important. for you. Somebody needs to know. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, it, it depends. Now, when you're on those uh, computers, I'm, I'm speaking from high school, I think the teacher has a way to get an alert. Yeah, they come back and say, now, look, Johnny, now you know you shouldn't just do that. That's, they, they never work with you, give you warning. Now, you start getting on that hardcore stuff, porn, weapon, and talking about doing something about it, and maybe some other consequences. So just stay away from those inappropriate sites. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's what you can uh, you can call whatever account you can call them, like Facebook, Snapchat, and they and they can see if it's happening. And if, if we know that you had no idea, I mean, it just criminals out there in the world. People, nothing happens. We get things. Thank you for reporting that. All right, one, two, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah, her thing is her parents logs into her phone so she can keep a track on what's done. I would recommend that to all parents. All right, we got a few more. Is there a way to prevent Oh, no. You'll be an instant billionaire. <laughs> you can figure that out. I mean, it's some, uh, it's sad. There's some guys out there in that tech world. They, they work for the, uh, the hackers. You know, you know what the hackers have? The big company, only thing they want, uh, only thing they want is to tell them, I got into your system. You don't give me a certain amount of money, 
our record forever. And most of these big companies, believe it or not, that's how you make your money. That's how you do it. You make your money. Yeah, so most of the time you have to shut it down and I'll start a new account. And, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, is you? Right here. Oh, well, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, well, my family is where you have to be 60 or older. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's a good practice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, thank you for your questions. Okay. And, uh, look, I know we went over a lot of things. We bounced here, we bounced there. But uh, keep in mind, you are, in, in, you are in charge of your own phones now. It's the information that you put on and send out, you got to take responsibility for it, whether it's good or bad. Whether it's good or bad. And uh, we want to thank you guys for inviting us out. And it's always a pleasure. So to come out and try to pass information and to try to assist you young guys, y'all move to this mean world. Okay.